Hello everybody and welcome back to Summer in Mara. Let me just get my get my mouse all back. I had alt tabbed out to start recording. Okay, so last time I I dropped I dropped down from exhaustion uh, which means that I'm strug gonna struggle for uh, stamina today. So drinking some juice or something would probably be a good idea. Let's have a little look what we've got. It still hasn't rained. I need rain so bad. Unless I want to make another well, I don't know. But anyway, the carrots are still kind of growing. Uh, it looks like it would speed them up quite a lot to, to water, but I can't do that at the moment. Um, we need to fix the boat. I do have a little bit of blackberry juice. Why wouldn't it? Consumables. Now I ate the blackberry, thanks. Why am I struggling with this so much? right bumper and the left bumper. It's going through all the materials and stuff, but it's not allowing me to go between these things. I'm trying all the buttons. Oh, okay, I'm being so dumb. All right, <laughs> that's my fault. It's the, um, the key, the, the up, down, left, right keypad to go between all the consumables, the bumpers, uh, sorry, the yeah, the bumpers go between catalogue quests and inventory, and then it's my actual thing, my actual back and forward. But anyway, we've got some stamina now, and that's the main thing. Uh, it's the little sort of joysticky things on the controller allow me to go between. So now I should have, in theory, I think, enough wood. Yeah, we've got exactly enough to fix the boat. Hurrah! I wanted to do this yesterday, but never mind. Uh, it wasn't quite enough stamina and stuff to do that. Got my hammer. Let's do some building. Alright, I think I'm in slightly the wrong... There we are. Build the boat. There we go. Everything's ready to set sail. Napopo, are you ready? Hmm. Boat. But first, I have to check if all the field crops have been watered and pick up the seashells on the western beach. I think I should plant new trees as well. I'm not sure if Neo and Neo have enough food. And I have to check that every seagull is comfortable in their nest. Really? What's wrong? This island needs a lot of attention. What if I leave and something happens to me? I don't know. Napopo. I'm a bit scared. Napopo. Hmm. Yay! I know that since I'm with you. Oh, that's like, I'll keep you safe, I think that means. But do you know the place we're heading to? Carlos. I don't know who this Saimi is, the one Yaya used to write to. Um, or Saimi, I'm not sure. What are we going to do out there? I don't think that Yaya Haku would have let me go. Hmm. Okay, okay, guide me. I'll follow your instructions. But we have to return to my island and take care of it from time to time. Basic backpack. You got a new structure here. Sail north and you'll arrive at Qualis Island. Sail to Qualis by following the Popo's instructions. Okay. All right, let's go sailing then, I guess. Do I need to rebuild the pier before I'm allowed to go on the boat? Isn't that the next question? Yeah, it looks like I can't get on it until I've rebuilt the pier, so. Oh no, hang on. X. Navigate. Okay. Yes. We can, we'll we probably want to rebuild the pier at some point. So, right to sleep in the boat, B to leave the boat, R, RT to speed up, and LT to reverse. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, we're sailing the boat. And we need to go north. Which way are we going at the moment? So this way is north-ish. Okay, yeah, we're going north. Cool. We're in the open sea. It's very... Very 
very saily. Okay. Okay, we got to the open sea. So now I see like an island if I carry on. Which I'm hoping is Qualis. Oh my goodness, was there like some kind of whale there or something? Let's go backwards. I'm sure I saw like a whale or something. <laughs> now, Peppa, you have a very good sense of direction. Could you guide me forever? You're the best. Now, maybe we could ask those yayas over there. Okay, so here is Qualis. Um. I don't want to kind of get in the, the little harbour, I guess. Oh no, there's some like boaty parking spaces here, look. A little sort of pier thing. Ah, I can't sail. This is not easy. Not easy to reverse and stuff. You can tell my driving's so great. You can't be too specific with it, I don't think. So I've left the boat now. So I think I can just jump into the water. And then maybe jump out onto the, the pier or whatever. Nope. Do I have to get the boat in a bit closer then? And I could probably go around the pier, swim around the pier and get out of the beach. Right in there. Maybe not the <laughs> the best way to do it, but... Oh, right, okay. Let's navigate the boat somewhere where we can actually get out then. Which will be down by the beach, I guess. Or in, in that area there, maybe. No, that doesn't let me go, okay. No, I might have to go like close to the beach then, so that we can get out that way. Maybe I can jump from there onto the pier. There we are. Hello. Who are you? Wow! You're Yaya's. What are you talking about, kid? I'm Noho and this is Caleb. You know no Yaya. Yes, you are. You're like my grandma. Your grandma is a Guido. But my grandma's Yaya Haku. I know no Guido. We are Guido. I, am I Quido? Um, that's a good question. No, you're human. <laughs> you see, some years ago, I met a teen girl like you. She was young and strong. She liked to swim very much. She swam through two seas. It was further than the storm belt, of course, where the sea is no longer called Mara. The thing is, the two seas were connected by a great coral reef. It was said that the squid Quidos lived there. Half Quido, half squid. They didn't have legs, only tentacles. Are you lost? Is Caleb? A bit. This is Qualis, right? I'm looking for a woman. Saimi? I think she lives in the lighthouse. The tide started to rise and the undertow was terrible. The girl couldn't get out of the water. Then she noticed something was dragging her foot. Yes, yeah, she's the lady of the lighthouse. At last, she made it to the shore. Barely made it. But she had tentacle marks all over her leg. And the sea was calm. So if you were born here on Ku, you are Quido. Although you don't look like one. That's good to know. Thank you. I'll head to the lighthouse and ask. Okay, go up to the lighthouse and search for Saimi. No, I'm almost certain that I'm getting every pronunciation here wrong. What's this? Read. It's closed. Only opens between 10 and 4. Okay. Who are you? Never heard anything good about this shop. Oh, okay. Take some bait there to go fishing. There's like a little fishing spot there. Which might be kind of useful. Shall we go fishing or should we go to the lighthouse? Ooh, I don't know. Fishing sounds good. I take I took the bait. <laughs> I'm so hilarious. 
There's also a weird can or something there. Let me take that. Let me take everything. There's little boats in the background and stuff. Oh no, I don't have the bait to fish here. What? Oh, I need like dragonfly bait for that. Okay. So you just go around the place, like, finding bait, and then you want to find the right fishing spot to match up to the bait you have. Okay, sounds fun. I imagine that's a bait shop. That might be quite good. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I took you photos. That's so cute. I love this little town. A little dog and everything. Hello. You're like a Quido dog. I'm not going to... Oh, I could feed you. Sorry, I don't have any food for you. Oh, no. He only eats apples. So the dogs here eat apples. Interesting. Let's see if we can find the lighthouse. Oh, no. A youth on a street corner. Be careful, little girl. My gang is scattered all throughout the island. Oh dear. There's gangs and vicious dogs here. You've got to be careful. Maybe we should jump. Little marketplace. Commerce. I can buy cotton, fabric, stone, wood, coal, batteries, flower pot bases, raw copper, raw silver, wax crayons, and metal. Nice. And I can buy a few different fish here, and ice, and some shells. I don't have any money, but good to know. <laughs> Kid, buy something or go away. Prices won't stop increasing! Dad, buy me one of these! Pesta power! I have to eat healthier. Come on, I can do it. Koa is exhausted, she needs to rest again. Right oh no! Why doesn't it tell me that before she passes out? We need to sleep on the boat now. I can sleep on the boat. So that's what I should have done there, but I did not because I was too busy being nosy and talking to people. I'm trying to find lighthouses. I'm jumping around, but I probably shouldn't jump actually. It's probably causing her issues. Um, so let's see about... Got some carrots. I'll probably need to go back to the island to make some food, though. Okay, interesting. Right, let's see if we can find this lady anyway. This is such a cool, like, little town they've made. It's huge. It's like a park there and everything. The lighthouse is probably, like, as high up as you can go. That's where I would put a lighthouse. That's exactly where they put a lighthouse to, because they think like me. <laughs> There's a dog in the back of the truck. <laughs> That's so cute. I love the world building in this, it's so nice. Okay. I, I did say I wouldn't jump, but I can jump for genuine reasons, just not the, the random jumping I sometimes do. So we're gonna go and see the lady of the lighthouse. Stupid little dog. Ooh, what are you? Need a better hammer. Oh, we could try the axe. Need a better hammer. Oh, right, it definitely needs to be a hammer as well. But, yeah, no reason not to uh, take metals and things where I see them. with the tools I have. I haven't been given any sort of upgrade recipes yet. Oh no, Koa, Koa, Koa. All right, she's exhausted and she needs to go and get a rest, but I need to stop getting resources everywhere. I keep exhausting her. Okay, let's end her. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Saimi here. Who are you? I want to talk to Saimi. Where are your manners? Don't bother me if it's nothing important. Well, it looks like it's not going to work. 
What do they ask the Guidos at the harbour? I may as well go and have a rest in that case. See if we can make it down to the boat without doing any jumping or anything. <laughs> I don't think running is is too bad. Uh, I think it's more the the fact that I was trying to uh, yeah the fact I was trying to take things. Uh, so I'll just try and run in a very conservative way back to the boat and hope I don't pass out. Hoping was too much, clearly. Right, I'm gonna go and see if I can sleep on the boat. Um, and just, just do it that way. It might be too early in the day for it, but I'm getting very, very, uh, I don't have food really. <laughs> Oh, I love that they, they parked my boat nicely for me. Okay, so let's go to navigation screen and it should allow me to sleep on the boat. Yeah, let's just do that. Then I'll have a full thing of stamina to play the rest of the game for. All right, so B, leave the boat. Okay. Wonderful, so now we're in a really rubbish position where we can't actually get out of the boat properly just about managed it. Okay, so I was supposed to ask the people down at the harbour anyway, so let's go and have a chat. Hello. Oh, commerce with you as well. Oh, I can get lettuce seeds here. Oh, how wonderful. Can I actually sell? Oh, I can, I can sell stuff. So I've got a few things that I could sell. I could sell some, like, seashells. I could sell that catfish I've got. I could sell some resin. I hope I don't need too much of that. I've got some metal. I've got a little bit of stone that I could sell as well. Let's sell those, and then let's see if I can get some lettuce seeds. Maybe like, even just one or two. Yeah, and we'll buy some lettuce seeds. Wonderful, thanks guy. Okay, so let's talk. Hello. Oh, that didn't help much, did it? How about you? You like a good chat? Hello again. Hey, the lady doesn't want to talk to me. That's because you can't go around with manners like those. I once met a man who was a butler. He lived in a huge house. He took good care of his master. It's not that I agree with those kinds of things, but he found a yum yum in the dining room of the house. The thing is, he didn't scream and he didn't become unsettled. He just dealt with the situation. I'm guessing a yum yum isn't a delicious, delicious donut. Do you know how? No. Me neither. That's his secret. He didn't want to tell me. So what do I do? Go and ask, kid. Okay. Hey, do you know anything about a lady called Saimi? I'm sorry, we are merchants. If you don't give us something in exchange, our mouths are sealed. Well, not completely. That's true. Because I once met a couple along the shores of Oresteer that... Okay, I get it. Look, I need some thread. Take some cotton seeds. I'll tell you how to obtain it after you harvest it. Bring me thread and we'll be able to tell you something else. Okay. We've got a new recipe. Thread. Make some thread at your workshop and bring it to Noho so he can help you. I think I already have some thread though. How much does he need? Yeah, I already have enough. Hello! Hello. I'm certain I have enough thread. I do. I don't even know where I got it from either. Well, let's, let's go back to you, actually. Here it is. You're not going to find better thread anywhere on the island. There we are. Talking to the wrong person. Well, get on well. Sorry, we, we'll get on well, child. Now, you're ready for the grand revelation? What? The woman you're looking for is in the lighthouse. Caleb already told me that. Well, that's it. Anything else? Nothing. That's all. Isn't it enough? But take this for the inconvenience. 
Thank you, old man. Who are you calling old? Me. Caleb's not old. He's an experienced Guido. And now what? You can ask the people in the city about the woman of the lighthouse. They might know how to make her open the door. I've got 80 coins for that. Wonderful. Speak with the inhabitants of Qualis and figure out a way to make Saimi open the door. I need a mollusk shell and some books or something. Okay. So those are apparently the ways to make her open the door. A novel and the mollusk shells. So they could probably go to the market and do that. I probably need to go back to the island soon to see if my carrots are ready to be harvested. Hi, the roaring of engines as boats leave port relaxes me. What about you guys? Hello. I'm gonna die if I don't drink a mar mara cola right now. My mum says this is a waste of time and money. Yeah, probably is. Those arcade games are always rigged. Okay, let's have a chat at the marketplace. Might have opened up now. So, hello. Kid, buy something or go away? Okay, do you have... No, you don't have the things I need. Do you have the things I need? You have the mollusk shells. But I don't have enough to buy those off you. Good grief. That's lots of money. Okay, I might be able to find them on the beach or down around here or something. Do you have a novel? Nobody has a novel. Lots of people have all the seeds and stuff for lots of cool things to make. Which is yum. Lots of yummy yummy foods. You don't have a novel either. I am not entirely sure what I need to do now. I'm a little bit lost. Let's just chat to people if I can. I'm broke, but what if I sold this house to that lady? I like the fact that you can... You don't have to, like, go and chat to everybody. You, They'll just... You know, their, their little dialogue will come up when you walk up to them. I've been to you. The gang is scattered throughout the island. There's a little fortune cat! Oh, so cute. I wonder if I can go inside these buildings. Hello? 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 Little girl, didn't anyone teach you not to bother the adults? Head go. Hello, I'm Kawa. Nice to meet you. But don't bother me. Do you know anything about the lady from the lighthouse? Pardon? I was wondering if you know anything about the lady from the lighthouse. I need information and I'm asking around the island. There's no way to treat a stranger. Well, I never. What a shame. No one has manners anymore. Excuse me, I didn't mean to bother you. Well, you did. You don't ask things like that. You have to introduce yourself and treat the people politely. You ask, how are you? And then wait patiently for an answer. You're a savage. Well, I'd better get going then. No. Now, you stay right here. Where are your parents? I don't have any. Very well. Then we'll wait for an adult to come. Aren't you an adult? A different adult. What are you doing here on your own? I've already told you. I'm looking for information about the lady from the island. Good. I see you're learning. What do you want to know? I need to talk to her, but she won't pay attention to me. To be fair, she's an extremely busy woman. There are not many people like her left. Could you teach me how to be polite, please? Don't you have parents? I already told you I don't. My grandma raised me. She didn't do a great job. Hey! All right, all right. But I don't deal with people who are not customers of this bank. You will have to open a bank account. The minimum deposit is 50 coins. Where do I get 50 coins? I've already got that. You don't use please like that. You can get them by selling stuff to other merchants. To the old Quidos in the harbour or at the market, for example. Thank you very much, sir. I've got enough already from doing my trades down in the mar in the harbour. Wonderful. Hello, how are you today, sir? Very well, and you? How are you today? Great. Did I do it well? What? Well, being polite and stuff. Yes, very well. Oh, yeah. 
Here, I have the money for the account. Right, is it going to be a debit or credit account? You have a brand new product with some fantastic benefits. What? I have an investment account that would be perfect for you. Annually, the bank will take 20% of the total deposited amount and invest it for you. I just want to be polite to that lady, please. But the account? I'm not interested. Keep the money. It's all right. That's odd, but it's all right. In order to convince the old lady to let you through, I would recommend using a navy salute. How does it look? May the winds of Mara be kind to you. Wow. That's what my grandma used to say. That should work. But I don't think that she'll let you go through just for being nice. We'll see. Okay, so that was one thing. Advance the quest of Koa to continue with the bank. Oh, interesting. All right, so we we talked to the dude in the bank. Lovely. Who else can we talk to? My leg went numb. Now I can't move. <laughs> Gang members. I think I'm going to take another one. You want to be in my band? Oh, look. It's like a park with bunnies and stuff in it. I would take a walk in the park, but I think I'd be better off in the town at the moment. Might need to sleep again. Mm. I'm starting to learn about the old lady. Shouldn't fall asleep here, but it's so comfy. It's a park bench. It's really not that comfy. You don't want to fall asleep there, really. There's all those shady gang members around as well. I don't trust them. Can't get in there. Just trying all the doors because there's some places that, that clearly you can go into. So you're going to check them out. Check out all the doors. Nope. Nope. This one might be. Nope. Nope. I love this shirt, it's so cool. Alright, um, maybe we should just go back up to the lighthouse and try our navy salute. They are saying, speak with the inhabitants. Hmm. Do I have a map of this place? I don't know where I've actually covered already or not. Yeah, let's go over here, I guess. There's all the people in the marketplace. We did have a little chat to them. Hello, lady. Do you know anything about... No. I've heard about those scarf things. I wish I had one. Okay. Like a control tower thing here. Can we go chat there? No. I chatted to the people in the marketplace. Did I lose my 50 coins as well? I've got 40 coins left, so yes, I did. I want to see if I can find or buy a mollusk shell now. So, it wasn't you that had one, it was you that had one, I think. And that was 96 coins. So I need to trade more or try and find things around this island. I'm going to maybe, uh, I might go to bed and then like hit the beach and see if I can find anything around uh, the beach that I can pick up. If not, I may have to go back to my island and make some more food and stuff like that. I'll just jump down onto the beach. Right, let's have a look what we got, see. That is some rubbish. Wonderful! I wonder if anyone will pay me for my rubbish. There's a very littered beach you've got here. Very, uh... Oh, look. That person has got a big arrow over them. Maybe I should speak to them. Hello! Um... Hi, I'm Koa. Maybe you can help me with something. Bram! Bram! There's always a rrrr in the Quido, isn't there? Eh, brrr. Hello, I'm Bram! Yeah! You okay? 
I wonder, I'm trying to work out if that was, I'm sure there was a bra, bram or something like that in, in Dayland, but I can't quite remember. It's on the edge of my mind. No, oh. it's just brrr. I think I messed up. With what? My uncle is opening his establishment soon and we need supplies. So I ordered some corn at the market, but brrr. They only bought me corn seeds. It's a disaster. The corn from, comes from the corn seeds, so I don't see a problem here. Well, I don't have any place to plant them. If you give them to me, I'll bring you the corn. <laughs> for, for real? Of course. That would be awesome. My uncle Taka is nice, but he's also strict. Oh. I don't know how he would react. Thank you very much. Brrr. You're very welcome. Brrr. So I'll make some corn seeds. Plant brrams. Brrams. I can't say it. Corn seeds and give him a few cobs. Okay. Didn't help me too much in my main quest, but never mind. Hello. I hope to see a big wave even though I can't surf. The beach is horrendous. You can't find anything on it. Yuck. It's all rubbish. And, and no seashells. Probably need to go back to my island or go elsewhere to get the mollusks. Or like try and uh, get together some more things to sell. I hope that one day I'll reminisce and remember this game as being one of the best experiences of my life. I grew up loving a few games and I haven't felt that same feeling in a while. It's like a message from the devs on a crab. I love it. I have big hopes. Oh, The crab mail service carries messages from all over the world, some written in languages that nobody from Mara knows. <laughs> that looks like it might be a shell. It's just a normal shell though. I want a mollusk shell, which is what I need. Maybe we were on the wrong beach. But I don't know where I'm going to get a novel. Oopsie, I'm my own business to ignore the old woman staring at me. I wish my grandchild was so smart. What architectural ingenuity. Oh dear. Cohen needs to rest. Why do I never notice? Oh, I'm so too busy doing other things all the time. Okay. I think I'm going to go back to my island and I'm going to plant the corn. And then I'm going to come back later. I'm going to do a few things around the island. You never know. I might be able to find mollusks there. Okay, so let's navigate back. Let's reverse. Yeah. South, in fact, I could just reverse all the way there. And you see, I've got a bit of fuel in my fuel tank there. Home Island. I really do need to rebuild that pier as well. Um, let's, let's turn around a little bit. Let's actually go back a bit. And turn around a bit. And I want to see if I can find any of those like mollusk shells and things like that. Fix the pier. Whee! And it looks like I'm going to just like fast travel to Qualis now I've been there once maybe? Possibly. I'm guessing this is a jumping puzzle to get that shell. Ah! I have to go all the way back then. Oh, I see. Alright. It's not too hard until you get to the last bit. I need to have a rest as well and stuff. I need to just check on the island, have a little rest, and then and then carry on. But I'm gonna do this jumping puzzle first. Got the shell, got the shell. Go for a swim, go for a swim. Yeah, I'm going to have a look at everything. I'll see if there's any way that I can plant those corn, corn seeds and just stay until I can. Uh, and spend a bit of time fixing up the pier as well. And then we'll get back to quests. 
eight boards for that. So that's eight plant, eight uh, bits of wood, and then turn them into boards. Looks like my trees have grown in the meantime. A um, couple of berries have grown. We could make some berry juice. My carrots are possibly ready for harvest now as well. Nice. So while I'm off having adventures, things are, are growing over here, which is really cool. I'm going to have a sleep. Poor Koa is absolutely exhausted. That's better. Right. So let's harvest these and we'll plant some corn for our friend. I've uh, probably got some more carrot seeds as well. I've also got lettuce that I can plant. However, uh, that would be more for like sale because I don't really have a lot to do with that other than that. Uh, I could plant cotton as well, but again, that would be for sale. Um, whereas carrots I can actually make food out of. So I'll try and plant carrots as much as I can. We've got some carrot seeds there. I think the well is probably still going to be dry. Yeah. We need it to be rainy. I'll plant the corn for my friend. How long does that take? Five days as well, so... I'll just literally come back, plant. Um, I'll gather oranges and try and make orange juice. I could maybe sell the orange juice as well. Just gather everything on the island. So the island isn't too um, isn't too bad. It's just a case of if you come back every so often, grab the stuff. Probably every five days is a good one, honestly. Um, come back, grab the stuff, fish the pond. Probably grab the stuff out of the mine as well. Probably do that just now. Find any oranges. Oh look, we've got some uh, tree seeds there, look. Good, good. Just try and grab everything I can from the island. And then um, I'm gonna try and uh, bleh, 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 chop down a few trees and fix that pier up as well. We'll also come back here if we need some stuff for our, some fuel for our boat. I see an orange peeking out over there. This feels like quite the adventure though, doesn't it? What, what are we going to build over here then? What's this? Sheep! Yeah, I used to say this is a stable for sheep, but I've never seen one. Oh, we can get sheep on the island and everything. We're going to be able to get loads of cool animals and all sorts soon. Wonderful. At the moment, I can do a chicken coop as well, so we can do a few things around the island. Maybe just everything we can on the island. And then sort of head back and do our quests in the outside world. So I want to know what sort of things I can find on the beaches uh, as well. Uh, let's go into the mine first, though. Do I want to leave an offering to my friends up here and light the fire, maybe? I'll at least give them an offering, I think. Or give them an orange or something. I don't really know what it does. If it gives me more luck or something. Or if they'll tell me something eventually. No, they don't want to tell me anything. Maybe if I light the fires, I can quick I can quick go home or something. I'm not sure. Quick travel. I'm just gonna take those leaves as well. I take everything I can take really, so I can sell when I get back to the other island. But we're gonna need to chop down a few trees to fix up the pier. I'm gonna need eight boards. I think I think a board is just one. Hang on, it'll tell me in the catalogue. And it's a bit like Dayland, each person has a quest. 
Oh, we do have a little bit of a, a map going on. Oh, cool, cool, cool. And it's got people that I need to be speaking to as well. Edgar, Pili, Saimi, Caleb and Noho, Bram. Uh, there's a person called Onzo up there who's one of the cat people who I have not spoken to. Well, that's probably the person I need to speak to. Oh, I wish I knew that. Well, I'm working out the game still. It's only like, I've, I'm like less than two hours into it, so I can't know everything. I'm getting there though. Okay, so we're gonna chop down a few trees, but we're also going to make sure we grab the pine nuts and we'll plant a few more. Sometimes I find things, I probably find more stuff by accident in this game than I do just trying to find things generally. Uh, okay, so let's have a look. So I need... I bet the cat has the novel. Honestly. Okay. Get my hoe. And we shall plant some trees. Because I am a good she lab and I like to plant the trees. So there's 18 out of the oh, so I'm allowed a total of 33 trees on the island. Interesting. I'm getting a lot better with all this stuff now. Okay, so they should grow, hopefully, while I'm away next. So the next thing I want to do while I'm home is to take my hammer and uh, head into the mine and grab any metal or anything like that because everything that I can sell is going to be handy. I'm going to need possibly a lot of money. If I have to buy those mollusks, that's going to be a lot of money, so I'm going to need to have a lot of stuff to trade. Yeah, I'm almost certain that Bram, like, from Dayland is that same, I, I, I could be wrong, but I've just got this niggly feeling. I'll have to go look it up afterwards. Go and find what the Quido in, in, oh no, oh no. Okay, we, we managed to not completely run out of energy before we passed out. So that's a good thing. I shall continue on the morrow. <laughs> Uh, getting just generally wiping the re the resources off the island and also rebuilding the pier. I may try and rebuild the the chicken coop as well. We we shall see. We shall see. Sleepy time though. I do not want to have be passing out all the time. It sucks. Hello, Tilly. <laughs> Tilly knows it's nearly the end of this uh, of this particular playthrough. Clearly. So we'll do another another little bit of a day and uh Well in fact we are on forty nearly forty five minutes, so maybe we will need to wait until next time actually, I'm thinking. Because I have a kitten that looks very hungry. Uh but also it is definitely time, I think, to to wrap it up. So we're gonna wrap it up. We went sailing on the boat today, which is really cool. We found a new island, we tried to do lots of quests on that island, we're back to our home island, we're gonna just do a few improvements around here, grow some corn, all that sort of stuff. And then, oh, we need food before I go anywhere. Uh, Koa needs food. Koa is really hungry. Oh no. Let's just, let's just go back and make some food. Because I can't be doing with her starving. I literally have two bars to care for and I really don't do a good job of either, do I? Let's go to the kitchen. And make some orange juice. There we are. That should do her for a little while. And maybe some blackberry juice as well. Okay, and then we'll wrap it up once I've given her those because... She's got some candy as well. Orange juice is really good. Wow. Did not know that. Blackberry juice, not so good. Probably because you have to have carrots for that. But anyway, 
I think I'm going to leave it there for now. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Summer and Mara, please subscribe. I will let you know where the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.